this is Crystal and Ryan and Hi. Virginia, my daughter. Go ahead, tell them. Okay, so today we're doing our unboxing of the snack crate, a review of snack crate. My daughter is how many months pregnant? 14 weeks. She's 14 weeks pregnant, so she's going to join us today and see if, see if she gets any weird cravings. <laughs> Oh, it's Brazil. Holy smokesies. It's from Brazil. So here's the card. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven, Ooh, eight, Cheetos nine, asado. ten, eleven. <gasps> Baked Cheetos, baby. Mm, and sorry. so there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. They got, um, ooh, they we got, might as well start with this one since that's what you all are just craving over. No, it just says. I'm sorry, I'm just so, staring at it. So, <laughs> uh, this is Cheetos. Asados. Asados. These cheese puffs are covered with something. What is it? With a re, type of cream cheese with a flavor cow? similar to sour cream. You're not going to like them. You just got disappointed. I think, um, I, I think asado means, is that fried or baked? They smell like mm. sour cream. I don't know. See, I'm not that good at my Spanish. I'm not a good Mexican. <laughs> Mmm. It's like a sour cream. They're fried Cheetos. Mm. Okay. It's really tart. All right. They're, they're all right. I love Cheetos though. No gunner. Yeah, this isn't a, a. Oh my god, where do we find these? Did you show them a picture of it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, So the next one, Hang on. are you going to do the Rolling Stone ones? That is the, the Ruffles. Churrasco. These crunchy potato chips are flavored like savory Brazilian style barbecue. Oh. They are seriously finger licking good. Huh. You're taking that from Ryan. Ryan I'm sorry, something. I'm just That's hungry. Okay. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> They do kind of... Tastes like a, brisket. They have a, a different like a, smell to mm. them. Right? Like Ooh. a... Yeah. Like a brisket. Yeah. Barbecue taste. Yeah. Definitely a brisket flavor. Those are actually pretty good. I didn't like it. Because it's got that weird, like, you're supposed to eat meat with a sandwich or whatever, like meat, like brisket by itself, not on a potato. That's the potato. It's like the 7 Eleven prime rib chips. Okay, mm. pretty good. Ooh, Virginia wanted spicy. You're gonna have to pronounce that. Pipocas acu, acucaradas. Acucaradas? The sweet popcorn is similar to kettle corn found in the United States, but with its own distinct flavor. Oh, I thought it was spicy. No, I think it's just a bag, it's red. Be careful, the Claire don't eat it. They look weird. They taste like stale, um, what do you call those things? The sugar bears. Tastes like a stale. The sugar pops. bears. Yeah, or the, the sugar bears. Remember the honey bear? I taste the, the, Or the diggums, the snacks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what they taste like. They just mm -hmm. hit the clothes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still going, but we're gonna see that. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm on. I'm on body, battery power save or whatever you call that thing. They're okay. They're too stale. Trento bites. These crisp wafers are exploding with chocolate inside and out. They have a rich chocolatey filling and coating. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sticker. Take one. Mm, it's pretty good. As a whole. Mine as a whole. Oh, mm -hmm. theirs doesn't have the chocolate then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as a whole. That looks not bad. Oh. Give everyone with the chocolate flavor, the chocolate center. What are those candies she used to get when we used to go to Blockbuster? Mm -hmm. Multi milk balls? 
So they were like chocolate Whoppers. And Whoppers. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. It do taste like Whoppers. I'm that old if I remember mm -hmm. Blockbuster. Oh, good. That's... Ooh. No. Okay. Mm, caramel. I love caramel. What does it say? It doesn't say caramel? Yeah. Are okay. you sure? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's right there. It says pe moca, pe de moca. Similar to, like that. similar to pre peanut brittle, this candy features crunchy peanuts covered in sweet toffee, a perfect blend of salty and sweet. Yeah. I'm good, I'm going to wait. You sure? Yeah, this one's still in my mouth. I'm going to drink water. I'm going to drink water. Okay. Mmm. It tastes like a jeta. That goat milk. With pecan, with uh, peanuts. And sugar sprinkled on top. Mm -hmm. No. You want a cajeta? You don't like the cajeta? Really? You don't like that Mexican caramel? Mm -mm. I don't know why. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm not even eating for it. Mm. Oh, I guess I need to show that to the camera so they can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. There's what kind of looks like. These are. Tira tema. Then those, yeah. Que hijo? Que hijo? Crunchy bites blasting with a cheesy flavor. These crispy cracker snacks will keep you going back for more and more. Gunner. So they say, ooh, is it quejo? Quejo pico? I'm just I'm making up words. Gunner. Oh, it's going to smell real bad. And he Jesus. probably needs to go outside here. Yeah? Ew. So the Snack Crate Plus had the Fanta, whatever that is. Guarana. A high caffeine soda made from the guana fruit native to the uh, Amazon basin. The first. It tastes sort like of like you. apple and with a berry finish. The, the taste is like yuck. It tastes like something rotten. Mm -hmm. But then it turns normal after it dissolves in your mouth. Mm -hmm. No, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Me. Chocolate. Tortuguita. Little turtle. The unique turtle shaped chocolates are perfect for when you need a little something sweet. Wait, wait, wait. We've included we either the classic, whatever, or vanilla cream flavor. So there you get two of them. Oh, okay. Where's mm -hmm. the tortuguita? Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get two of them. It's brigadiero or vanilla. Mm -hmm. So there's the first one, and then there's the second one. Again. Let's do the vanilla one. The vanilla one. You're afraid of the other one. <laughs> I don't think know. this. Well, I guess this one's light. Mm. I think. Oh, they're in the shape of a turtle. Oh yeah, they too. sure. Look, I'll show the camera. Oh, that's cute. Oh, because she's closer. Yeah. yeah. So the turtle. The turtle. Might as well do this one too. Okay. It's a turtle. Look. I'm not sure what flavor that's supposed to it be. It was a turtle. Like chocolate? <laughs> Is that supposed to be like chocolate? Yeah, I've chopped it with some. Oh, pepper. this one's vanilla. And the chocolate center. You want to bite it? It's good. Yeah. That's good. Let me try that one. That's not bad. It tastes like the cookies you get. I like this Christmas. one better. Yeah. I like that one better. The white turtle. Mm -hmm. These are kind of soft. The most, beloved, the most beloved peanut butter candy in all of Brazil. Small in size, but big in peanut butter. I think it's pronounced Pacoquita. So they gave us at least two of them. I don't know if there's another one in there. Oh, it's like, it almost looks like a fudge. And it falls apart. Like a, oh, it's kind of like a, uh, what do you call those power bars? Oh, I, I was going to say the, the Rosa. The Rosa. The little circle thingies. I've never had one. Is that what they taste like? I mean, is that what they're like? It tastes like... They're like that. They're like circled, and then when you open it, they easily break. Mmm, that's actually really good. It tastes it like a, good. it tastes like the inside of a like a, a Butterfinger, but without it being all crunchy. It's like already soft for you. That's, that's really good. good. I like it. Let's save that one for last. I can see Oreos. Oh, these are two different ones. Let's do this one first. Trento Alegro. So break into this flavor packed candy bar, a light crisp wafer filled with peanut butter, all coated with a layer of white chocolate covered peanuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm wearing this necklace so it doesn't match. Mm. Oh, my glasses. 
Uh, sir and ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Oh, it's oh, a wafer or something. Let me just bite it. Gunner. Mm. It doesn't taste like traditional white chocolate. It doesn't. It tastes like a yogurt. It kind of does. Mm -hmm. Baby didn't like it. Okay. And then it's like peanut butter stuck on your tongue, like, mm, mm. Yeah. I'm trying to like. So I think we got two items left. Mm -hmm. This is the Club Social, a Brazilian take on cheese and crackers. This sandwich snack boasts a crunchy crackers with a cheesy tomato basil filling. Mm, I like, I like, I like tomato basil. Mm. And there's three of them here. That's perfect. Perfect. Did you show the package? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Just like, just like a goldfish pizza. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like a Triscuit. Mm -hmm. Sun dried. Yeah, it has like a pizza taste to it. Claire says it's a 9 out of 10. Can I get one to gun it? I mean, uh, Chippy? In a minute. Alright, so I think the last item. Yep. Yeah, is. Bis. Bis. Lacta. Lacta bis Oreo. You'll never want regular Oreo again. Delicious chocolatey wafer, layers of wafers coated in decadent white chocolate. Mm. I'll bet it's like the peanut butter. Uh, what is it? Remember the one that we just bought? That the the Reese's peanut butter uh, wafer. The wafers, yeah. I will bet it's like that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at Claire. She's like, can I have some grandpa? Oh, they come in little things too. How perfect. cute! Yay! Look at this. That's perfect. It's so weird. Oh, there's a bunch in there too. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot. We can pack. There's probably twenty of them in there. Oh wow! Look, it looks like those wafer cookies. Um. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. They do taste like those little cheap wafers. My dad used to buy the strawberry ones. Oh, I love those. Yeah. I used to put whipped cream on them. Those mm. are good. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. Mm. I want to see how fat I am look when I sit. I'm pregnant. Those are good. I'm just fat. <laughs> so which was your favorite? Mm, definitely the, the Oreo. The Oreo beast. Least mm. favorite. That's just the candy though. What about the chips? Mmm, the chips. I would say I like the Cheetos. My least favorite was that popcorn one. Yeah, the popcorn one just not very good. I like the Cheetos. Cheetos. I like the I like the ruffles that have the brisket taste to them. These actually taste so if you had like the Coke with it, I got like a combination flavor of like an actual barbecue restaurant. Mm. So it's pretty good. I had water. I do like the Cheetos. Yeah, I think the Cheetos are good. I really like these though. I like I like those 7-Eleven chips that are the prime rib flavor. I eat those a lot. Mm -hmm. That's what they taste like. Mm. But a little more briskety. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like taste, I'm eating Bucky's brisket like taco smoke. all over again. I get that taste of smoke in it. That's why I didn't like it. Mm. Okay. Let us know what y'all think. Which ones would you be? Willing to try, or which one looked interesting to you? Let's read a couple of fun facts before we oh, okay. before we stop. So, fun facts for Brazil. Brazil has been the largest producer of coffee in the world for the past fifty years. Mm. I don't know how to say that. It's the first mainland city in the Americas to see the sunrise every single day. Oh, okay. It's so. Uh, is it? Wow. Yeah. It's J-O-A, but with a little accent, O, and it says Pessoa. Yeah. Something like that. Paraiba State. State. So they, they're the first ones to see the sunrise. Hmm. Um, committing an environmental crime on Sundays and holidays is an aggravating factor. No, I didn't know that. Um, oh, yeah, this is so... this. So they have the, the Snake Island. Have you ever heard of Snake Island? Mm -mm. Oh, you so okay. So uh, 
It looks like it's Skamai, though. Yeah, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce Grande. it. Grande Island is the deadliest place on Earth. It has about 45 venomous snakes per 328 feet. Yeah, I would It's an never... island completely full of snakes. Ugh. I hate snakes. I hate snakes, too. And most of them are venomous. Like, if you went... Like, they don't even let people there. If you went Brazil there, you'd die. Brazil has the largest Japanese community outside of Japan, with about 1.5 million Brazilian Japanese citizens living there today. Huh. Cool. Interesting. Brazil is the largest country in both South America and Latin America. As the world's fifth largest country by both area and population, it is the largest country to have Portuguese, Portuguese as an official language and the only one in the Americas. Bounded by the Atlantic Ocean on the east. Go ahead and finish it because my astigmatism is getting bad. It's like the letters start moving. Uh, bounded by the Atlantic Ocean on the east, Brazil has a coastline of 4,655 miles. Its Amazon River Basin includes a vast tropical forest, home to diverse wildlife, a variety of ecological systems, and extensive natural resources spanning numerous protected habitats. The Brazilian Carnival, or Carnaval, I think that's how they pronounce it, is an, an, something like that, is an annual festival held by 46, or held 46 days before Easter. The carnival celebrations are believed to have roots in the pagan festival of Sat Saturnalia, which, Saturnalia, which adopted to Christianity, became a farewell to bad things in a season of religious discipline to practice repentance and prepare for Christ's death and resurrection. Music is one of the most instantly recognizable elements of Brazilian culture. Many different genres and styles have emerged in Brazil, such as samba, choro, bossa nova, MPB, Bassa Nova, yeah. MPB, um, I, I love those. I don't Frivo, know how to say. Forio, Maracatu, Sertanejo, Brega, and Axe. Axe or something. Yeah. So, so like uh, football or soccer is the most popular sport in Brazil. That's pretty common. They, they've won a lot of World Cups. Uh, many Brazilian players, such as Pele, which is probably the greatest of all time, Ronaldo, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Those, those are the last two. Uh, also, Neymar are uh, among the most well-known players in the sport. The Brazil national football team is currently among the best in the world. According to the FIFA World Rankings, they have been victorious in the FIFA World Cup a record five times in 58, 62, 70, 94, and 2002. Hmm. So, okay. so there were, looks like there's another handful of snacks that, you know, were available in other boxes. Um, that you know, what they do is they've got a whole bunch of snacks, and then they 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 don't put. I don't think they put every single snack in every box. I think they kind of mix with certain, so everyone kind of gets a little bit different. Um, everything out. Yeah. So that's a uh, that was that's pretty good. I mean, it wasn't a bad box at all. So like the Israel one better. Yeah, the Israel one. Was, I think I, that's the best one. That one. I mean, that not in Canada. On, not only was that one really good, but it kind of took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I was a little worried about it. Me too, because I was like, oh my God, it's going to have some kind of weird stuff I've never heard of. The chocolate was just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Probably the best chocolate I've ever tasted. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we're getting close to 100 subscribers now. Yeah, that's awesome. We're getting awesome. up there real close. Yay. So, um, probably in a another week or two, we'll probably be there. So, thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> in the next video, yeah. Bye.